In this video, I'm going to show you how to build a large language model app to chat with your own data. This is arguably the cheapest and the most efficient way to get started with LLMs for your own business. But before we do that, I want to back up a little. The technique that makes this work is called retrieval augmented generation, a fancy way of saying we chuck in chunks of your data into a prompt and get the LLM to answer based on that context. The first thing that we need to do is build an app to chat to. There's a bunch of dependencies that I need to import. They're mainly from Langchain, but there's a little Streamlit and Watson X thrown in for good measure. I'll explain these as I use them, so don't stress for now. Streamlit has a great set of chat components so I'm going to make the most of them. Add in a chat input component to hold the prompt and then display the user message using the chat message component via Markdown. This means I can now see the messages showing up in the app, but it's only displaying the last message posted, not all of them. Easy fix, create a streamlit state variable. I'll call it message and append all of the user prompts into it. While at it, I'll save the role type, in this case user, into the dictionary. And then I can test it out. Hmm, but the history doesn't show up. Well, turns out I haven't printed out the historical messages yet. Loop through all the messages in the session state message variable and use the chat message component to display them. And wait, did I save the app? Of course not, I'd never make a mistake like that. Let's just try that again and look at this. Historical prompts that have been passed through. whoop de doo Nick. Where's the LLM at? Well, let's do it. I'm going to use the Langchain interface to WatsonX.ai. Why? Well, it uses state-of-the-art large language models, doesn't use your data to train, and it's built for business. But that's just scraping the surface. To do that, I'll create a credentials dictionary with an API key and use the ML service URL. You can create an API key from the IBM Cloud IAM menu. URLs for different regions are shown on the screen right now. Then, the LLM. I'm using Llama 270B chat because I'm pretty fond of those furry buggers. Pass through some decoding parameters and specify the project ID from WatsonX. Now, send the prompt through to the LLM, and boom! Wait, it looks like it's running. But I need to show the LLM responses as well. Easy enough with the Streamlit chat message component. Note, the chat role for the LLM response is assistant rather than user. This helps to differentiate the responses. I'll render the prompt as markdown and save the message to the session state as well. That way the history is displayed in the app. And now it works. Yeah, yeah, that's great. But where's the custom data come into play? Entering phase three. I'll add in a load PDF function and specify the name of the PDF here. Then pass that to the Langchain vector store index creator and choose the embeddings function to use. This basically chunks up the PDF and loads it into a vector database, ChromaDB in this case. Wrapping it in the st.cache resource function means that Streamlit doesn't need to reload it each time, which makes it a whole heap faster. Anyway, I can then pass that index to the Langchain retriever QA chain and swap out the base LLM for the Q&A chain using chain.run. And we can now chat with our PDF. In this case, a PDF to do with generative AI. Meta, I know. 